Hello guys. I think today is a good day to talk about, to take a, a little bit of a step back and talk about errors in your macros. Let's open up the developer tab and we'll go to Visual Basic, review code. We can just create, create a new macro, errors. So we'll do create and talk about errors real quick. There's three types of errors in programming. And not to get too technical, but I'm giving you a, again, this is a free course, so I'm giving you a lot of paid material that you probably learn at a college. Three types of errors, syntax, runtime, and logic. What's the difference? Well, that's what I'm here for. Syntax errors are errors that happen when you don't properly write a statement. For example, if I say dim my value as integer, that particular statement has no syntax errors. Syntactically, it's correct. It's similar to when you write a sentence in English and you write a perfect sentence with a sub subject and then a verb and a predicate. Right? I think I got it right. Subject, verb, and predicate. Don't judge me because I'm not an English major. So it's very similar. With syntax errors, for example, if you do something like that, that's syntax error. Because the compiler, the, the VBA compiler, doesn't know what integra is. So if I go on this line, and let's say I try to run this, we're going to get a so compiler error. Whenever you see that, that means you have a syntax error. It's, they define it as a compiler error. Other compilers and other programming languages usually use, they'll say syntax error at line x or line y or whatever, wherever line that you've committed the syntax error. So I'm just going to put a stop to this. That's one type of error. So let's put this back. Again, another type of syntax error. A lot of the syntax errors are misspellings. So for example, if I say DMI something, right? This particular, if I misspell this variable name, that's not a syntax error. But because I misspelled the actual identifier, which is a keyword in VBA, that's going to give me a syntax error here. Because it doesn't know what D DMI is. I'm going to say dim, and that would be fine, even though I spell this word wrong, but that's an identifier that I'm right. It's not a keyword that's coming from the VBA compiler. If I get rid of this sub, that can also cause a syntax error. So if I do that, it's going to say, no, I can't continue. You usually know it can identify syntax errors by the fact that they'll stop the compilation of your program. And I don't want to go into how programs run. What happens when you actually click on play here is the compiler is going to take all your code and make sure that everything that you've written is syntactically correct. And if it's not syntactically correct, that's when it raises a syntax error, compiler error. Now, how is that different from a runtime error? Well, runtime errors are errors that happen during the runtime of your program and not necessarily at compile time. I'll give you an example. You can't divide by zero. So if I do dum, dim num1 as integer, and then I say dim num2 as integer, and then I say num2 is equal to num1 divided by zero, this will give me a runtime error. See that? Runtime error overflow. The reason for that is you really cannot divide by zero mathematically. So that's going to raise a runtime error. So I'm clicking on end. Runtime errors are not compile time errors, meaning that your program will compile and it'll start running. 
the longer you start writing your macros, meaning your VB script code, and there's a runtime error in any of the lines that you write, you have to be careful because you're not going to be writing macros that are 10, 20 lines. You're going to probably be writing macros that are perhaps 100 lines long. So you have to be cognizant of the fact that if you do if you start compiling your code and start going through the process of writing it you have to be cognizant of these runtime errors that could happen and again these are hard to debug because they happen at runtime which means that you're gonna compile your code it's gonna compile successfully and but at runtime when you actually run it on your sp spreadsheet it's gonna bomb now the third types of errors are the logic errors so the last two runtime and logic are the hardest to to fix one because if you're a beginner you don't really know what is actually going to try I mean I've given you an example but there's so many things that can raise a runtime error but you've seen what can how it how it gets raised so usually when you have a runtime error it's going to say runtime on the actual pop-up if it's a syntax it's going to say compiler error now if it's a logic error there would be no error box logic errors are errors that you make as a human so for example if somebody asks you to find the sum of two numbers right that's easy right that's very easy except that perhaps you forgot to that he said sum and you did the product so the requirement was for you to find the sum but you forgot that he said sum and you thought he said product and you said answer is equal to num1 times num2 and we can just say num1 is equal to 10 num2 is equal to 40. Now you got a picture that this is a 100 line macro and you have to go through lines of code to figure this out but you're you're getting the wrong result because the requirement was for you to find the sum and you somehow forgot and said, oh, oops, I'm, I thought that this sign was a plus sign, but I actually used the multiplication. Again, this is not going to give you any error. Let me just do a good old message box. That's why nothing happened. So when you're thinking you're going to get a 50 as a result, you're actually getting 400. And you're trying to figure out, well, why, why am I getting 400? I'm supposed to be getting 50. And this is an example of a logic error. And logic errors can drive you really, really nuts. Now, as a programmer and as a VBA scripter, these logic errors get easier to solve over time. The only thing you have to do is have persistence and patience <laughs> to solve these logic errors. So I hope I cleared up. This is, I think this was a good point to stop the programming and just recognize what type of errors people commit in terms of when you're beginning programmers in general so the way that it works is when you start out writing macros or any programming language you're gonna be a lot of the time maybe the first three three to six months you're gonna be here the syntax error level you're still trying to feel feel your way on how to how the language works as you get more time programming then you'll probably now end up after the six months at the runtime logic error level. Mostly logic error, I would say. Runtime, not so much. And that's kind of the, the progression of what's going to happen to you. The only way to deal with syntax errors is by practicing. You do the exercises that I do, do the homework that I'm assigning on the course, and you'll see how much you'll improve over time. All you need is 20 minutes a day. That's all you need. All right. Hope this cleared up a lot of things about errors. So when you see pop-ups come up when I'm trying to write code, you kind of understand what that means now. Especially in the previous videos when I was writing code and it said compiler or compiler error. I hope this helped. I'll see you on the next video. And again, we're getting into more exciting stuff. So we're going to start manipulating spreadsheets. I got to teach you about if statements, branching, loops, and all that. And this way you can start automating things at your job. Please subscribe to my video. Again, course is always free. Never charge you. No frills. Alex Louie, your VBA so-called expert.